The Atomic Bomb In 1945, the war in Europe was over, but the conflict still raged in Asia. America was still fighting Japan, and no end was in sight using conventional means. Something needed to be done to end the war. America had been developing a powerful weapon called the Atomic Bomb. It had the power to wipe out entire cities in just one blast. If America fought on using armies and conventional weapons, it could take years to end the war, with many lives lost. However, if America could force Japan to surrender quickly, it would end the war in a matter of weeks. The problem was that this would come at great cost to the Japanese people. This is Dr. Robert Oppenheimer. He was in charge of a group of scientists who invented the atomic bomb. In 1939, German scientists had discovered a way to split a uranium atom. Many were worried that this would be used to create a terrible weapon. President Roosevelt decided that America needed to develop its own atomic weapon. This secret project became known as the Manhattan Project. It cost $2 billion and at one time employed 120,000 Americans. Everything had to be kept secret so that neither Germany nor Japan would find out. By the summer of 1945, the bomb was ready for testing. Take a title in your book, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Remember to put the date at the top and CW for classwork in the left hand corner. Then copy the following into your book. In 1939, America feared the Nazis would build nuclear weapons, which would have the power to destroy whole cities in one blast. To combat this, America decided to build its own nuclear weapons. In August 1945, a bomb nicknamed Little Boy was dropped on the city of Hiroshima in Japan. This is an image of a mushroom cloud. This is the cloud of heat, debris and dust that gets thrown up after an bo atomic bomb is exploded. This is a replica of the little boy bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in August 1945. You can see another replica of this in the Imperial War Museum in London. Staff Sergeant George Caron, the tail gunner of the B-52 bomber that dropped the little boy bomb on Hiroshima, described what he saw. The mushroom cloud itself was a spectacular sight, a bubbling mass of purple-grey smoke, and you could see it had a red core in it, and everything was burning inside. It looked like lava or molasses covering a whole city. The cloud is estimated to have reached a height of 40,000 feet. A survivor of the bomb described what it was like on the ground. The appearance of people was, well, they all had skin blackened by burns. They had no hair because their hair was burned and at a glance you couldn't tell whether you were looking at them from the front or in the back. They held their arms bent forward and their skin not only on their hands but on their faces and bodies too hung down. If there had been only one or two such people perhaps I would have not had such a strong impression. But wherever I walked I met these people. Many of them died along the road. I can still picture them in my mind like walking ghosts. Copy the following into your notebook under the heading or the subheading Hiroshima. At the end of the Second World War, America wanted to end the war quickly by defeating Japan. On the 6th of August 1945, the USA dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. This image shows the B-52 bomber that was used to drop the little boy bomb on Hiroshima. The plane was called the Enola Gay and this is the crew posing in front of it. The photo was taken by the American military. Copy the following into your notebook under the last notes that you wrote down. The bomb was nicknamed Little Boy. 
Hiroshima was flattened and killed or wounded all in its wake. 60 to 80,000 people died immediately. The heat was so intense that some people vanished completely. 70,000 died from radiation poisoning within five years. The next images may be distressing to some people. If you do, do not feel able to look at these images, please fast forward or look away now. The image shows the destruction caused by the bomb. You can see that almost everything in the image has been destroyed. This would have been some distance out from the center of the blast. The only structure that remains standing in the picture is the Japanese arch. This picture shows the burns suffered by one of the victims of the bomb. You can see where the pattern of this lady's dress has been burned onto her skin. That is because the light and dark par parts of the dress absorb light differently. This is a particularly disturbing image of a child or young person who has been killed by the bomb. You can see how the entire body is covered in an ash-like substance. Again, you can see the horrific burns suffered by victims of the atomic bomb. This man's com The complete side of this man's neck and shoulders and ear has been severely burned. This image is more difficult to make out, but you can almost see the upside-down shadow of a person on the ground. This would have been caused by someone who was standing on the pavement when the bomb hit. And you can see the area on the ground where this shadow has been left, where, she, where this person's body had protected that part of the ground from the intense heat and light of the atomic bomb. The second bomb was dropped on the city of Nagasaki. It was nicknamed Fat Man. Copy the following into your book. Three days after Hiroshima, a second bomb was dropped in the city of Nagasaki. The bomb was nicknamed Fat Man. 35,000 people were killed and 60,000 were wounded. After this, Japan quickly surrendered. The link for this video has been added to the description on YouTube. Please click on it to watch the video 10 Things You Didn't Know About Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Once you have watched all the videos and copied down all the notes into your notebook, answer the source questions provided in the booklet. Write your answers in your notebook.